Greetings. This is definitely a long-awaited video, and I truly hope that it's a blessing and helpful to all who run the crops. So supplement taking. In my personal and professional opinion, I truly feel that supplement taking, if you do implement that route in your fitness regimen, it should be as natural of a process as can be. Natural, as I mean it, I have it in two aspects. One, as organic as it can be, and two, as natural as eaten. You want to put in your body something that your body already produces. You maybe need help in obtaining such as protein or creatine, uh, which are two things that body, your body already makes, but depending on your fitness goals, you may want to increase the dosage of protein or creatine that you get. Um, second of all, you want to establish your goals. Once you establish your goals, you want to constantly be aware of your goals because you don't want to have the goal of losing weight but end up taking a supplement um, that helps you maintain weight. It's all about education and research and I truly hope that I can be a help in that area um, to many. I used to work at a all natural and organic grocery store and people used to always ask me hey what can I take to speed up my metabolism I used to always point them to a green tea supplement whether it's a tablet a pill actually the packets powder whatever and a quick story about green tea, my old better half, um, she lost a matter of 16 pounds in a matter of about a couple or a few months. That's very extraordinary. And this is without an increase in physical activity. This is all due to not eating at the certain time of the night and drinking mucho green tea. Uh, she do stand for long periods of time as well as walking a lot of distances and going up and down stairs but that's all work related. But on top of those things that I mentioned it's, it was also her will and she was very consistent with it. Um, I guess another thing I like to highlight in this video is um, the concept of protein and muscle building. When an individual who's beginning to get into weight training or strength training for the purposes of developing muscle mass, they think, I'm going to increase my protein intake. As nice and pure as that is, the misconception with protein is that it actually builds muscle. Protein doesn't directly do that. And let me explain. When you train, when you're doing strength training or weight training, what you're actually doing to your muscles is actually tearing them apart, ripping them, and when they heal, they grow back bigger and stronger. Hence, this is why strength training and weight training works. And to give you a better visualization, um, to give you kind of like the anatomy of a muscle, if you have seen nice, and no offense to any other vegetarians, but if you've seen a nice chunk of roast beef that's done nicely and tender, you prick it with your fork and it's all stringy. That's kind of how muscles are. It's, there's fibers to muscles. Again, and when you are doing strength training or weight training, what you are doing is ripping or tearing that fiber. And when it grows back, it grows back bigger and stronger. Protein helps heal muscles, not really build muscle. So again, protein indirectly builds muscles. Now, when a person who who wish to change their physique in that particular fashion, um, they want the mass, they want the denseness, and the elongation of the muscle. The supplement that actually builds muscle in that particular fashion is something called L 
L-glutamine. L-glutamine actually builds muscle. Again, protein helps heals muscles. So here I am about to tie this thing together for the third time. When you are weight training or strength training, what you are doing is ripping your muscles or tearing your muscles. And when they heal back together, they heal back bigger and stronger. Since protein help heal the muscle, it does it at a faster rate than if you were not on protein or increasing your protein intake. I think that was the misconception I wanted to clear up uh, primarily as far as supplement taking. Um, I guess next time I will go into more supplements and even share supplements that I have um, dibble and dabble with and are taken currently. Thanks for listening. And again, I hope this is a blessing and resourceful. Peace.